here we go. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike from the Super Wheeler Bros, and I have just got back from seeing Justice League, so that's what we're going to talk about. Justice League is the hybrid Frankenstein's monster of a movie by Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon. And that's probably the best way to describe what I felt about the editing of the movie. <laughs> but we can get into that later. This is going to be a spoiler-free review. I am going to spoil one thing, and I'm going to go ahead and do it now. So if you don't want to hear it, go ahead and get out of the review. It shouldn't be a secret. He's in the promotional material at least a little bit, for God's sake. Superman's in the movie. Okay, now we can actually talk about the rest of this. Okay, so my initial thoughts of this movie is that I had a ton of fun watching this movie. Don't listen to reviews where they tell you that the story is a mess. That's not fair. That is not fair. It's not really a mess. There isn't much of a story to really begin with. It's a very linear point A to point B story. Bad things are happening, Batman senses it, he goes out and tries to recruit a team because he knows he can't handle it himself, and that's pretty much the premise. They go and they handle things. That's the main gist of it. Alright, so in the end, is this a good movie? I believe so. The way that the characters interact, and this is the important thing when you're talking about Justice League or Avengers or any other team-up movie. It's always going to be kind of a simple premise because it's about those characters. Even Avengers or Avengers Age of Ultron or any of the other team-up movies, there's not an overly complicated plot going on here, guys. It is a character-driven movie, and the characters work in this movie. Ezra Miller as The Flash is hilarious. He is awesome. He does a fantastic job. Everybody who was concerned about him can just go ahead and get rid of their concerns now. He was great. Jason Momoa is Aquaman. Everybody was worried about him being a bro dude. No, that's not all of his character. That's not everything that's to it. He was great. I can't wait to see what those two do with their own movies. Flashpoint Paradox is going to be sick if they actually do it. And yes, I'm, a, I'm in agreement with Ezra Miller that I want Jeffrey Dean Morgan to play Thomas Wayne as he did in Batman v Superman for the Flashpoint Paradox. Definitely want that. Aquaman is going to be great in his own movie, and you do even get a quick little scene with him and Mira in the beginning very, very early on, so very, very cool to see kind of maybe what their interaction might be or leading towards. Obviously, Batman was once again played great by Ben Affleck. I'm going to be very sad if he ends up actually leaving the series because I think he just knows what embodies Bruce Wayne and Batman. I think that he absolutely knows exactly how you're supposed to play that, whether he's being dark and brooding, which I kind of missed, I'm not going to lie. This Batman is very, very much about a redemptive arc. Redemption because he feels so much guilt over the loss and death of Superman that he feels is his fault, which, not really his fault. <laughs> That's more Lex Luthor's fault. And then, obviously, you have the absolutely amazing Gal Gadot, once again, owning this movie. She is the star, period, end of story. Wonder Woman's great. She leads the way. Cyborg, Ray Fisher, who played Cyborg, really surprised me. One, the CGI was not that bad. There is one instance, and I will definitely talk about it. It's not a spoiler. We've all heard about it. Henry Cavill's mustache, right? Okay, we're gonna talk about that. Cyborg actually looked very, very convincing 99% of the time. 99% of the time, couldn't tell a thing, he looked awesome. What I will say is that he surprised the hell out of me when it comes to his character. Everything to do with his development, which was probably the most fully developed character, so you get to learn most about his backstory, maybe because he's the most central to the mother boxes and his relation to them since he was created by it. I do believe that they did Cyborg a lot of justice. He was very, very cool, and I know a lot of people were kind of shitting on him, and no, not at all. So a lot of the gripes that people had uh, so far when I've been reading reviews, it, they don't make sense to me. This movie is not without flaws. There's definitely some issues with it, but most of it pertains to, to me, 
Studio interference. Again. Warner Brothers, I don't understand what you're doing. You are too concerned with what is going on over at Marvel and what some of these fans say. Hello, they're still going to see your movies every time. Something is going right. I'm just saying. I don't care that people have been crapping all over Batman v Superman. None of the movies have been perfect. None of them. Well, except for Wonder Woman. And you should have taken a cue from Wonder Woman in certain aspects of the movie, which took its time to tell its story. This one does feel a bit rushed. This one feels rushed simply because there was this mandate that it should be under two hours. There's so much in the trailer that doesn't actually appear in this movie. Period. End of story. I don't know if that's because Joss Whedon came in and decided to punch up all of the dialogue and things like that, because I think that there you can clearly see a big part of what he shot based on Superman's appearance. A lot of what Henry Cavill did had the weird CGI mustache problem. Now, the only reason that bugged me so much is just because I knew about it, but also because it gave a visual marker of what was different. I think the a lot of the style was sapped out of Zack Snyder's movie, and I feel it's unfortunate because, say what you will about Batman v Superman and Man of Steel, those were dripping with atmosphere, and you just felt like you lived in that world. This felt like a comic book, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's a very enjoyable and fun movie, and like I said, the character interactions make all of this worth it because they are freaking spectacular together, and it's not just Batman and Wonder Woman, their chemistry. No, Wonder Woman and Cyborg have great chemistry together. Flash and Cyborg have great chemistry together. Batman and Flash, Wonder Woman and Flash, everybody just feels like they work in this cohesive unit. Aquaman works well with everybody. He has great banter with Batman. He has great banter with Flash. He has a great scene with Wonder Woman. There is so much to enjoy about the main portion, the meat of this movie, which is the characters. That's what it's all about. It's about the League, and they kill it. And I'm not going to give you any kind of spoilers when it comes to Superman. Just know that if you liked the Man of Steel Superman, there is still going to be elements of that, but if you were one of the people criticizing Henry Cavill's performance of Superman because he was too brooding, I got news for you. This is your Superman. You are going to love it. The major things that really bugged me about this movie is that it had a very disjointed feel as far as you could tell that there was a lot more to it. That Warner Brothers mandate of two hours, they packed so much into it and it didn't feel as weighty as it should have. There was so much more that could have been done with it, and I think that we missed out on having a masterpiece. It's still a very good, fun movie, and introduced the League in great ways. But it could have been so much more, in my opinion. There is a lot more it could have done. It could have been more weight. I mean, I, I, I don't know about everybody else. But Jake and I have talked on this channel many times about how we enjoy the fact that it differentiated itself from Marvel, and I feel like Warner Brothers did a disservice to itself by not kind of sticking to its guns. I understand that you kind of want to go with what the majority of the audience is saying, but you, you also want to have a unique vision as well. You don't just want to ape everything that you see from the rival studio. It still has its own aesthetic. It does. And I will say this. The the way that the casting has come together over in Marvel is different because it's a little bit more organic. And I think that everything flowed more organically rather than what Warner Brothers has done with DC, which is just kind of throwing it all together. But they've hit some home runs in their casting department because everybody in this movie is fantastic. Steppenwolf, the villain, he's not the greatest villain. That is a fact. He is kind of a placeholder for Darkseid. That is also a fact. But, he's not a big CGI behemoth that is really distracting. Matter of fact, I thought, for the most part, he was very convincing. Kieran Hines' voice, heard a lot of criticism about that. Also, to me, very convincing. Yeah, is he as imposing as Darkseid will be? No. Or what Thanos is going to be? No. But he's a pretty badass 
in his own right. I, I still enjoyed him as a villain. There wasn't much to him, but that's because there wasn't much substance in the movie because it was rushed. I feel like there is so much more that is left on the cutting room floor that we haven't seen. And I am curious to see what Zack Snyder's original vision for this movie would have been, because you can tell that it is very different. You can tell that there are things that were cut in and out that doesn't quite match up tonally, and that is probably the biggest issue with this movie, not pushing it to the greater heights that it could have reached. But overall, this was such a fun time. I've been waiting years for this since I was about three years old I have been in love with Batman and Superman they've been the two best characters I mean let's be honest they are by far the two best comic book characters it's not even close and then when you throw in Wonder Woman you throw in the Flash you throw in Aquaman you throw in even Cyborg you're just getting so much goodness when it comes to that part of your childhood and filmmaking my only regret with Justice League is that I wish that the studio had just let them go for it. And I think, I will say, I think Joss Whedon came in and gave the film a needed energy. It is not dour. It is uplifting. It does have a sense of hope. And I did love that about this movie. Just wish that we would have felt a little more weight. That's all. It is so much fun. I can't wait to go back and see it again so that I can really digest it. And, uh... I probably will do a spoiler review, maybe even a full-length podcast. This, to me, feels like, guess what? It's time to do a full-length podcast and really dive into this thing full of spoilers and we can actually talk about it. Do stay after the credits. There is two after-credit scenes, and they are both freaking awesome, and they got me so hyped leaving the theater. I don't know what else to say. I really don't. This, this movie, it hit me right in the feels. I absolutely enjoyed the crap out of this movie. And even though I do have issues with some of it, there's no way that it outweighs what I felt in that theater. I felt like a kid again, and I'll say it again. That is how I judge a movie like this. Can you make me feel like a kid again? Mission accomplished, Justice League. You guys did what you needed to do. If I was going to score Justice League, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Guys, once again, Justice League was an absolute blast, and I, I loved being in the theater watching this movie. Tell me what you guys thought of Justice League in the comments below. I know that uh, this isn't the most friendly place. We're going to have a nice toxic discussion because, you know, that's what YouTube comment boards are like, especially when it comes to comic book movies. But leave your comments below. Let me hear your thoughts. I do want to have a discussion about this. This movie is definitely going to cause conversation that's for sure if you enjoyed this review go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more thank you so much for watching this and as always my friends have yourselves a super week